Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to get 45,000 score in a single game. And if you're not aware, that is how much you need for a single Marxist distinction or task completion for the F-14 Tomcat. Now you will need eight of these to get the actual Tomcat in the event. And today I'm just going to teach you how to get um, 45,000 in a single game. But before we get into that, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. It does help the channel. We're almost at 15,000 subs. Additionally, make sure to join the Discord like-minded folk and last but not least tell me in the comments down below what method are you guys actually using to grind this event now today we'll be using the f20 tiger shark in sim now i know when you hear sim you're like oh i'm clicking off not doing this i don't know how to play sim but sim is relatively easy with what we're going to be doing today now i suggest you use a premium fighter jet with a lot of missiles you could really use any br it doesn't matter but the best jet to do it with, in my opinion, would be the F-20 Tiger Shark because you get so many missiles and it's relatively cheap to spawn in since it's a premium. Another reason we're doing this in Sim is because Sim has a three times multiplier on your score that you earn. So essentially you're gonna earn a lot more over a smaller amount of time. Not only that, kills give you a decent amount of score in sim so this will be relatively quick another thing to mention bombing only works in jets with huge bomb loads for example the f-111 if you rocket the runways you get a thousand score in a single go but you're going to be getting shot at by higher tier jets it's in my opinion bombing is really not worth it but if you want to try it you can i just don't suggest it what i suggest is getting the most amount of kills possible doesn't matter how many times you die or whatever just get it like as many kills as you possibly can in a single sim match. Additionally, if you don't have a joystick or track AR or anything cool like that and you just have a mouse and keyboard, I highly suggest you get a PlayStation remote or an Xbox controller. You can learn sim extremely well with those. I've seen some awesome pilots using them and they're relatively cheap and most people have an Xbox controller just sitting in the garage or something. Just make sure it's compatible with your computer. Other than that, uh, yeah, find the right aircraft. Today we're gonna be going to 12-7 air sim now what we'll be doing is we'll be going into a sim match that's a mixed match now the reason i say it has to be a mixed match is because sim if you haven't noticed usually puts nato versus uh warsaw or red team versus blue team and blue team's usually american stuff and you know european type stuff and red teams usually just the russians china and sometimes the french swedish um and japanese but what we're going to be doing is going into a mix match the reason we're doing this is because sim has a huge problem where players only play us and if you're playing us you're never going to run into other players it's just scarce uh to kill people so what we're going to be doing is we're going to go into a mixed match where both teams will have american players and the major problem with this is team kills so you need to check your radar iff if you guys don't know what iff is it's identification of friend or foe the basics is an equal sign equals uh friendly and a minus sign equals enemy i'll be putting up a little diagram right here i cannot stress this enough but it is very important for you guys to understand what iff in more thunder is because a lot of people don't know how it works or what it is and you also have to understand some pole stopplers don't have iff or some radars in general don't have iff so make sure you do your research on whatever you jet you decide to bring whether it's an f4s or an f20 um just do the small research just so you don't team kill people because there's going to be american jets trying to kill you while you're in american jets and it's just it's a cluster um, but uh, let's pull out the f20a and we're gonna give it a go now one thing I would like to state before I get into this this is not easy per se but it's getting it done in one match in this match I think I roughly spent 53 minutes so pretty much an hour in this match and we got the marks of distinction so I'm not saying this is oh this is the easiest method this is you know the, the end all be all type method. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying this is a way where you can get it in a single match instead of going to 15 different other matches and spending hours grinding a small little task when you could do it in one hour in one day. I mean, there's a reason Gaijin makes this a two day task. It's supposed to be a long grueling grind. Although I reduced that to 53 minutes in this video. So for the sake of simplicity, what we're going to do is speed up this gameplay footage and I will show you the results at the end. You can either, you can just skip to the that bit. Uh, I'll put up a timestamp to when the speeding thing is done and you can just skip there. Or you can watch the gameplay of me killing a bunch of people.
Okay, so the match is pretty much over. Uh, I was actually cutting it extremely close. Um, I was surprised I was actually able to do it, but we got 15,000 score, 26 kills, two uh, special kills or whatever, and 11 deaths. So, not bad. And that's 15,000 score, which, you know, you times that by three, that's over 45,000 score, which is what we need for the Marxist Distinction. You can see right here, we have Marxist Distinction for Pilots 3. And we got it in a single game. Now, if you have premium account or boosters or whatever, you could grind whatever jet you're trying to grind while you do this, and you get a little money on the side. Currently, I don't have a premium account or any boosters activated. It was solely a premium jet, and those were the rewards, which were kind of meh for 53 minutes. Um, I believe the match was like 53 minutes. Let me check again. Where does it say that? Uh... Yeah, oh, 54 minutes. Time played, 54. So, yeah, not too bad. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Obviously, it's not the most easy method, but it's definitely the least time-consuming that I could think of. It's literally one hour, and this is a quest meant for two days, technically. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and take care, guys. Oh yeah, tell me um, what, what, what ways you guys grind with. I, I do want to know that. I want to see some other methods.